हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे टॉपिक इज नॉमिन क्लचर दिस इज यूर सेवेंथ सब टॉपिक इन यूर फर्स्ट यूनिट दैट इज डाइवर्सिटी ऑफ लिविंग वर्ल्ड लेट्स सी व्हाट इज नॉमिन क्लचर राइट ऑन द अर्थ देर आर 1.7 टू 1.8 मिलियंस ऑफ ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर आइडेंटिफाइड और डिस्क्राइब्ड विच मीन्स it is impossible task to remember each and every species so we have to name them particularly for example my name is kartikeyan if you call me kartikeyan then i will respond to your question right if in a group i am in a group if you call by another name i am not respond if you call please ramu speak to me then ramu in my group he is respond to your stimuli so we need a particular name to the particular species so this nomenclature is very very important to name the organism nomenclature means naming of an organism is known as nomenclature right? this nomenclature is done by based on the rules and regulations of iczn iczn means international code of geological nomenclature okay international code of zoological nomenclature this institution gives rules and regulations to how we have to put a name to the particular organism right now let's see how many types of nomenclatures are there we have three main types of nomenclatures are there they are first one is binomial nomenclature second one trinomial nomenclature and third one tautonymy okay tautonymy these three are the procedures to name an organism right first let's see binomial nomenclature see here bi means to which means according to this nomenclature process binomial nomenclature process we have to keep two words to the organism two worded name to the organism okay for example homo sapiens okay homo sapiens which means in this we have two words this is first word and this is second word we have two worded name to the particular organism homo sapiens means it is the scientific name of a human right it is the scientific name of human in this we have two words which means binomial nomenclature means the name should contain two words that is about binomial nomenclature for the first time this binomial nomenclature was introduced by carolus linnaeus carolus linnaeus this this binomial nomenclature process or procedure was popularized by carolus linnaeus in his publication of a 10th edition book that is systema nature okay systema nature in this systema nature book he was introduced the binomial nomenclature process okay which edition 10th edition right according to the iczn rules and regulation binomial trinomial and tautonymy nomenclature processes are came to an existence now let us see binomial nomenclature uh, rules first rule is as we discussed by means to which means every name should contain two words okay second rule is this first word should start with the capital letter and the second word this one should start with the small letter and the next rule is this first word first word should should be in noun form and the second word should be in adjective form okay adjective form and the next rule is this first word is denoted to genus and the second word represents species right and the next rule is if we write okay if you write with a pen on a notebook it should be underlined separately which means imagine this is homo and this is 
sapiens okay when we are writing on the uh, when we are writing with a pen on a notebook we have to underline the two words separately this is also a rule and the sixth second uh, next rule is we have to write this name in italic form okay italic form and the another rule is this this name should be in latin or latinized okay latin or latinized form imagine this homo sapien it is a scientific name of a man right imagine this homo sapiens name was introduced by me which means my name is kartikeyan right if you want to write the scientists who are discovered that particular organism we have to place his name after the a species name which means homo homo sapiens comma kartikeyan okay we have to write like this imagine this homo sapiens name was coined by kartikeyan in 2021 then we have to place this uh, place the year after the name 2021 right these are the rules of binomial nomenclature right now let's see second one trinomial nomenclature tri means what is tri three which means the name of an organism should contain three words example crow scientific name what is our crow scientific name homo sorry carvus splendens this is the crow scientific name but same crow scientific name in india and pakistan carvus splendens splendens okay so carvus splendens splendens which means it has three worded name crow has three worded name in india and pakistan that type of nomenclature is called trinomial nomenclature same all rules are applied to same trinomial nomenclature the rules which are applied for the binomial nomenclature same rules apply to trinomial nomenclature and the last one is tautonomy it is very important one tautonomy nomenclature this tautonomy nomenclature means in this nomenclature first word is in binomial nomenclature first word is denoted to first word is denoted to genus and second word is denoted to species right in tautonomy nomenclature process okay in tautonomy nomenclature process both words which means genus name and species name should be same example example nasa nasa we have to write like this first word should start with a capital letter second word should start with a small letter and the next example is axis axis these are the examples for tato nimi right this is about a nomenclature right we have three type of a nomenclatures binomial trinomial nomenclature tato nimi binomial nomenclature mean the organism's name consists only two words trinomial nomenclature mean the organism's name contains three words and tato nimi means two words name, genus and species name should be same right right thank you